Design Ninja here. Today we're going to learn how to make this clover in Adobe Illustrator from scratch. Okay, so I just created this four leaf clover using method number one. I'm going to delete this and show you a second method which I actually prefer to begin with. So again, grab the ellipse tool, click and drag, and uh, I'm going to use a live effect instead of making actual copies of our leaf shape. Okay, so by hitting Shift-C, that brings up the conversion tool, I convert both of those points. I'm going to press A for the direct selection tool, click and drag, just so you select that one point. And now click and drag while holding Shift to drag this down. Okay, so we're already off to the same start. Shift-C to bring up that conversion tool once again, click and drag. I'm only worrying about the left-hand side at this point. If you don't see rulers, Command-R will show and hide the rulers. I want the rulers because I'm just going to come up, click and drag a uh, guide right out of that ruler and align it with that point, the handle to the point right here. Shift-C to bring up my conversion tool again, and this is the reason why. If I want this to be somewhat symmetrical, I want it to be about the same distance. Okay, so there's your first leaf. I think we want to click and drag this guy down just a little bit. Now, here's where the magic happens. Go up to Effect, Distort and Transform, and Transform. Essentially, all we have to do is create a live effect that creates copies of this shape for us. Okay, so down here in this copies, if you want a three-leaf clover, you want to put two copies, because you have the existing one plus two more for your three-leaf clover. And then right here, let's see, something like, depending on how large we made our shape. Now, click on this preview to see what you did. And, uh, okay, so we've got copies, we're moving it, and we need to do one more thing. Right here in the angle, we want to put 90 degrees. Okay? And that's not quite right. I press Enter, it doesn't look like a clover. As you can see, just simply rotating that sideways will give us what we want for now but I'm gonna drag this down just a little bit so they're touching now let's say you wanted to add a fourth leaf very simple just click on your transform from the appearance palette it brings up that dialog box once again put three copies press preview now you have a four leaf clover if you want to add a stem to this press P for your pen tool I like to draw it in between the leaves here somewhere click and drag like so by default gives it a fill. We'll come over here and click the swap fill and stroke because we want to use a stroke. I'm going to bump up the weight to something like so. And then to add some style, I'm going to come down to this profile. If you don't see this, just click this um, little arrow, show options, and you have this profile drop down. I like to use this one right here for the clover. That doesn't look quite right. I actually want it thicker on this end. So I'm going to click flip along and bump this up just a little bit more. Essentially what we have is is two shapes and it's a live effect, okay? So if I were wanting to pass this piece of artwork on or something, I would want one nice clean shape. I'm going to size this down just a little bit. Zoom in and by holding the option key, I'm going to click and drag. I always like to make copies. And I'm going to select both of these, go up to object, expand appearance. It takes that live effect and it expands it into actual shapes. Now once again, as you can see, Illustrator creates way too many points. It's easy to fix. If you go to Object Path Simplify and do 99%, as you can see, the shape is pretty much the same, but it removes all those extra points. I like to do that for a nice, clean shape. So now we select all of our shapes, go over to your Pathfinder palette, and click the Unite button, and bam, you have a nice, clean, simple shape. So just to show you some of the power of a live effect, if you wanted to really change the look and feel of this thing, it would be simple and easy to do. So let's say I do that, grab these two points and drag them over, grab this point, and bam, all we have to do is move our stem just a little bit, and you have two looks. Now, if you were to try to do all that from this shape right here, you would have to go through and change every single leaf, and it would be really difficult to do, which is why I actually prefer using live effects. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, please click like or the subscribe button below.